Hey Facebook world, this is uh, Tequel. I just wanted to upload a video to let everybody know that today was a very good day for me today. Phase one of my life and I'm kind of enjoying it, you know. Some people are coming out of my life and you know, some people are going in. However, I am very uh, satisfied with uh, the turnout that I have in my life, you know, with the friends and, you know, things like that, I'm not worried about anybody else, you know, so if, clearly, if you're not in my life at this moment, I'm not a worry. I have a great crowd of friends, and those ones that are not friends, they are associates, but I know exactly who they are. <laughs> That's all that matters, is I know exactly who you life. are you can be a thief but as long as <laughs> I know that you're a thief I know not to leave my wallet around <laughs> you if you're a robber I know not to leave my keys around you keep it a robber and keys <laughs> to my car that I don't even have I know not to leave these things around you if you're a liar so there if you're a liar you and you're telling people lies about me I know that I can trust you with the truth, that I can trust you with a lie, so I'll tell you things just to get you to spread them. Uh, and while you're wandering around here looking like Bobo the freaking fool, because you're just telling nonsense, you don't want someone of age, you want a kid, that's the problem. Grow up, get someone your own age. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. Did your mom ever tell you that? Well, I'm telling you now tonight. Tricks are for kids. Understand, Apple Jacks is for kids. You have to get wheat thins and all these things that are healthy for your system. Understand, you no longer can eat Pizza Hut and Papa John's every night. You need to eat marinated baked chicken without skin. Get yourselves together. Serve the Lord with gladness. <laughs> Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that is the Lord. And it is he that hath made us. We are his people. The and the sheep of his pasture. You know, I hate people that come to church and they get these voices and they get the mics and their voices are so friggin' annoying. <laughs> I want to tell them, you know, shut up. I don't want to hear any more you're you talking about. Like that? You know, I don't even care if you're talking about Jesus. I don't want to hear it anymore. Your annoying voice is annoying me. Would you say? Have you ever went to a church like that? Were their voices annoying? I went to a church like that and I want to tell the person, you know, I don't want to hear any more about your God. Please shut up. You know, Lord, forgive me, I love the Lord, but oh my God, I don't love your freaking voice. I love the Lord and he... You know, I love the cry. Lord, he heard my cry, he delivered me, yes, yeah. Yes, he did. But you know, people are just so freaking annoying. You go to church and all they want to do is keep talking about you. Oh, this is not the platform for you to talk about me. You're supposed to talk about Jesus. And if you can't talk about Jesus, then sit your tail down and get you a Facebook blog. You understand? This is what this is for. Not for you to stand on the pulpit and talk about your problems. Dang. Understand, Jesus loves you, but the foolishness, he, he does not, not love. I won't say he don't dwell in the midst of confusion, but I'll say he don't dwell in the midst of your confusion because your foolishness. God is not in the midst of foolishness. You can't bring foolishness to the church and expect for God to bless you. You need to get it together. You need to visit the Lord. There was a songwriter he says, go back to the altar, down on your knees, and stay there until you get the Holy Ghost power. Yes, Some of you need the Holy Ghost power because you don't have the power. Yes. If you had the power, yes. you wouldn't go crazy. If you had the power, yes. You'll be down here with us. Say hi. Hi. What's your name? My name's Joe. Well, we're gonna go out. We're downtown at the waterfall. Doing nothing with our lives once again. Can you see? Well, we're chilling. So, until later next time, Facebook, I love you guys. 
And I pray that you guys come out tomorrow to, um, what's that church called? What church? I forgot the oh, name. we have to go through tomorrow? Ah, uh, yeah. The Fountain of Life. The Fountain church of, of Life. In church Christ. of God in Christ. It is located on the corner of South Avenue. And the pastor is Pastor... Jonathan. Jonathan Stevens. And we're going to have Judge Toller from Divorce Court in the house. Yeah. She's going to be showing us the keys and the fundamentals to the judge life. And we have a speaker. So we ask you all to come out. If you can come here, go to Greater Refuge. Or Refuge Temple, rather. Where the pastor is, um, what's his name? Uh, something Reeves. Pastor Reeves, I'll say that. And uh, the associate minister pastor is uh, my dear friend, Minister Curtis Scrivens. Uh, he delivered a great word on tonight. So make sure you bless the Lord somewhere tomorrow because it's Friday. Don't go to the club before you go to church. Or don't go to church before you go to club. What? One or the other. Go Come to, to church. church. Come to church. Baby. That's what matters. Go to church. And if you can't go to church, Send your offering. I'm apostolic. We believe in bringing an offering. Even if you can't go to church, send your offering. I'll come and pick it up personally. But I got to have more than $2 to come and pick it up. Understand. Good night, Facebook. This is God Charles bless Cannon you. From Charles Until Cannon next Charles time, I bring greetings from Jesus Christ. He was unable to make it on tonight, so he sent me in his stead. <laughs> God bless you. Peace and grace and favor be upon you. Bless you.